Welcome to Ghost Tales by the Fireside. This short episode isn't a ghost story, but a little tale from folklore, set in a pub in Northumberland. Before I start, I'd like to mention a podcast called Paranormal Girl, hosted by Kristen Amanda. Kristen does an amazing job talking to people from all fields of the paranormal. From ghost investigators, cryptozoologists, UFO experts and many more. She goes in depth with her questions, bringing out the core of the full subject. Paranorm Girl is available on Spotify and Apple. Kristen also has a YouTube channel where she'll be hosting her first live session this Halloween. I'll add links on social media and in the description of this show. Near to Annick Castle, in the town of Annick, Northumberland, stands the Dirty Bottles, a 17th century pub that was once a coaching inn called Ye Old Cross. Ye Old Cross was an important coaching stop on the Great North Road between London and Edinburgh. It's believed that the inn was named after an old cross that's on the front of the building, which is believed to be the cross of the Norman Lords of Annick the De Vici family. The pub changed its name to the Dirty Bottles after it gained a sinister reputation when a tragic local folktale supposedly took place. Around 1725, the innkeeper was creating a display in the window of the inn when he suddenly dropped dead. His wife said that there was a curse on the bottles and that if anybody touched them, they would suffer the same fate. For many years, the bottles stayed in the exact same place, gathering dust and cobwebs. No one dared to touch them. Eventually, the window was sealed between two window panes so that no one could touch them. Around a hundred years later, a man was hired to renovate the inn and cleaning the windows was part of the job. He didn't believe in curses and superstition and so he opened up the window and cleaned the bottles and the area around it. That evening, he left to go home as normal, but the next day he didn't turn up for work. Word soon came back to the inn that when he returned home, he dropped down dead. A few years ago, the pub was closed down. The building was due to be renovated into flats, but a local man, who spent a lot of time in the pub when he was younger, bought it in 2014 and reopened it as a pub. The pub now boasts many modern features including self-service beer pumps and is now one of the most popular drinking and eating establishments in Annick. The window is still there and the bottles are untouched. Thank you for listening to Ghost Tales by the Fireside. If you enjoy this channel please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, it's very appreciated. You can find out more about the episodes on the website, ghosttales.co.uk. There's a Facebook page, Ghost Tales Podcasts, and Instagram at Ghost Tales Podcasts. All music, research, writing, production, art and sound effects are my own work. <laughs>